Some teams play with a burst of energy that cannot be matched. So far, the Athens Bulldogs have thwarted their opponents with an intense game plan. So Matthew Doyle's in the house right now to break it down for us. So Matthew, what do the Bulldogs have that's so hard to beat and how can teams stop them? Well, with three athletic forwards and a point guard that can push it up the floor at any time, it's difficult for teams to stop Athens from scoring. But on Tuesday, Alexander held a team that averages 61 points a game to 32 points. And I have a pretty good idea how they were doing it. We, we're looking at right now with Joe Burrow. He turned around and he's facing five defenders right now, Blaine. But what is the one option that he doesn't have? He definitely cannot go anywhere near the basket. All five defenders are in the paint. And we see Vanderbilt wants the ball because his man is all the way over here. But the best way was to have swing the ball. But instead, Burrow decides to take a contested shot. And that starts the Alexander fast break. And Blaine, that was the way... That was their game plan all night. If they were going to get beat, it wasn't going to be inside. And you saw they were able to keep it close and keep it almost handed Athens their first loss. You know, rough night shooting for the Bulldogs. Should this be the game plan for all of their opponents? I mean, it has to be, especially since almost every team against Athens will be at a height disadvantage. But here's the thing. You won't see many nights where Athens goes one for 18 from beyond the arc. And if they are missing from outside, Coach Jeff Skinner mentioned after the game that he has a motor and transition in his point guard, Griffin Lutz. And here's a perfect example of Lutz leading the fast break as Burrow immediately outlets the ball to his point guard. And look at what he sees down the floor. He has all four guys ready to run. Big Rodgers is going to go to the left, and Ryan Lerman is going to be streaking down the floor. And Blaine, what does that mean for Griffin Lutz? You know, it's a perfect time to see that weakness in this Alexander D. Exactly. And Lutz sees that. He runs down the court. But because Alexander, it's not a fast break out, but because Lutz pushed that tempo, all of them are looking exact directly at Lutz. And you see, like, for a moment that it seems like Alexander has readjusted and they're okay. But watch Ryan Lerman. He's going to cut to the open space on, on the baseline. And because of that, he's going to cause a double team. And what does that mean, Blaine? That means he's going to find Bay Rogers. Hey, Bay Bay. Oh, yeah. And you know, he's going to knock down the three-pointer. Athens' first three-pointer of the night with 2.15 left in the third quarter. And Blaine, Alexander proved that Athens is stoppable. But if they're on from outside, look out. Definitely. Well, Athens Bulldogs still on top. Thanks a lot, Matthew, for breaking it down.